In the last few lessons, we've been looking at navigation bars, and navigation bars are ever so important to your, to your website when you're looking at mobile and responsive capabilities of your website. And this is why we're focusing quite a bit of time on these navigation bars, because getting them right is very important. It's a vital aspect within web design. And I also want to show you, so I've shown you two options that are essentially JavaScript options and they're essentially working the same way where we've got our navigation bar, we've got some JavaScript that's helping to control some of the styling and we've got our style sheet. So we've got it formatted to collapse and to hide and show depending on the screen size. So there are a few other options as well for navigation bars and one of them which is often used for web development is Bootstrap. Now Bootstrap allows us to more rapidly and quickly develop websites and they have a built-in functionality that's up and ready to go when you want to add in your responsive menus. Now with Bootstrap, the only thing is that you do need to click to uh, connect to the Bootstrap library and also to the jQuery library. So first you need to add in the jQuery library. So I've already got these uh, within my dashboard here so I've got this is the jQuery library and much like what we were able to bring in with CSS linking to a CSS library from font awesome we can also bring in the jQuery library and then bootstrap JavaScript utilizes that jQuery library to make some really nice functionality and if you do have some time go over to the bootstrap website and check it out there's a lot of really neat things that can be done with bootstrap so I'm going to get rid of our JavaScript here. So I'm just going to leave it blank for now. And we're going to go over here and we're going to format our website to accommodate the new Bootstrap menu settings and menu combinations. So we do need to add in classes, much like we do with other, with other navigation menus where we're using classes and other parts of Bootstrap, we're using classes to create different effects, we're going to do the same thing here with Bootstrap. So we already have ID header, we've got class container, and container is a Bootstrap class which allowed us, if you remember uh, earlier in the course, we looked at how that allows us to actually center some of the content. And then next we've got this ID logo here, and then we've got our nav bar. So what we want to do for Bootstrap is we want to make a complete collapsible menu. So in order to do this, we need to get rid of and move a few things around. Like we're not going to need this mini menu anymore because actually Bootstrap is going to take care of it, but we are going to need these uh, F font awesome bars. So I'm going to maybe just leave that in there till now. And in the next lesson, we're going to convert this into a fully responsive Bootstrap navigation menu. So that's coming up in the next lesson.